Sorry, I'm kind of like bundled up. It's kind of chilly in here. Um, my folks' uh, heater conked out uh, this evening, so I took my. I usually keep my heat in the house pretty low, and then use space heaters to heat whatever room I'm in. And uh, their heat conked out, so I took my space heaters over to uh, let them borrow. Uh, so I'm still at the heat pretty low in here, so it's kind of chilly. But anyway, speaking of chilly. I thought I'd do a quick video about some cold weather gear uh, and good things to use. First of all, uh, I'll go with what I'm wearing right now. This is a uh, um, fleece watch cap uh, made by Condor. And you can get them on Amazon really cheap. And uh, they're nice. They're really warm and lightweight. Easy to like, wad up and shove in a pocket or something. So they're nice. And then obviously this is a Shemog, everybody knows what a Shemog is, there's you know a million videos on them and how to time and all that stuff, so I'm not going to get into it, you know, this one's just, it's wrapped around my neck and tied underneath here, there, there are the ends, so wrap them underneath and tie them, uh, this is one way, one of the many ways to tie it, so I won't get into it too much, but I will say do not underestimate the difference that it can make in keeping you warm, having something around your neck. You know, you throw a coat on, you just have jeans, a t-shirt, and a coat. Cover your head and put something around your neck. And you go outside, you'll be a lot warmer than if you're just out there in a coat, t-shirt, and jeans. Uh, but going a little bit deeper into uh, what you want. These are, this is um, a rag wool glomet. It's a glove bitten combination. Uh, they're also called, I believe, like watch gloves or something like that. These particular ones are made by a company called Hot Shot. I got them on Amazon, uh, really cheap. And they're, um, these are 15, yeah, 85% wool, 15% uh, thinsulate, they have thinsulate lining. And the reason that I really like wool ones, and this is coming from a guy that's worn like Gore-Tex and Thinsulate and all kind, you know, fleece gloves and all that, all, you know, leather gloves with with wool lining and all that stuff. The best thing about these is that if wool gloves get wet, they still hold body heat in. Uh, and the next item uh, you're going to see, uh, these are not currently available on Amazon, by the way. Uh, they're sold out. But if you keep your eye on Hot Shot wool uh, gloves, I think they're called watch gloves, men's watch gloves or something. Uh, and they're really these were like 15 bucks or something. They were really cheap So I'm not sure. I mean, I, I wore them hunting this year, but yeah, you know, that's just like a week so uh, Who knows how, how long term they'll hold up, but they they went through the brush and stuff at hunting season pretty well uh, the other thing is This is a jacket that I have Obviously, it's a camouflage jacket um, it's Scent lock, that's not really important. What is important is that this is um, Cabela's Dry Plus series, so it's waterproof. Uh, there are some things I like about it, some things I don't like about it. Um, one thing I don't like about it, and I'll tell you this right now, it drives me nuts, is the sleeve. Look at that sleeve. How is a man hand, a man wrist, supposed to fit through this little tiny sleeve? You got this little Velcro thing, but it doesn't even open it up. It's tight. I don't like that. Let my wrist breathe a little bit. It's, and, the, and I understand the principle that it's you know, trying to close off your wrist so the air can't get into it. But it makes it hard to layer. Because if I put on like long underwear and then a t-shirt and then maybe another long sleeve shirt or something. Because this is not insulated at all. This isn't just a shell. This is an outer shell. There's no insulation in this whatsoever. So I need lots of layers underneath it. But the wrist is like strangling my hand it's not cool man uh, but it is pretty cool I very rarely use the hood uh, it's nice because it has a brim built into it so you can put the um, the hood on and, and pull the brim down it keeps rain from falling in your face and stuff uh, but uh, I very rarely use the hood because I don't like hoods because they don't you know they, they don't turn with your head they block off your vision so I'll use the Shemog if it's you know, if it's real cold and the wind's blowing in, uh, or, you know, my face is, if I'm not getting rained on and it's just a, a matter of keeping stuff off my face, I'll just do the traditional, um, you know, wrap like this, 
with the shemog to uh to keep my face warm because then because then it moves with your head so when you're looking around it's uh you know it's not blocking your vision it doesn't block your peripheral vision that much either so um that's just a little word on on cold weather gear uh I, i've worn uh like i said a lot of, a lot of types of gloves Glomets are by far my favorite style, or Watts gloves, whatever you call them, just because, um, you know, when you're sitting there, you can fold this up, and the, the fact that all your fingers are together helps them keep each other warm. Uh, mittens are, are normally warmer than fingered gloves, and uh, so that, so there's that, but then when you need to be do something that requires dexterity, you know, you need to do something dexterous. You fold that back, and now you have access to your fingers. And I really like the ones that have the slits that you can pull your thumb out too. These don't have that, but like I said, they were cheap. They were really cheap. And uh, and just get something. Like I said, this dry plus. I actually have pants for. It. I have a pant. I have the top and the pants. Uh, the dry plus pants. Being cold is bearable. Being cold and wet is miserable. Trust me. So there you go guys just uh just my opinion as always but something you might want to think about uh thanks for watching remember this is america and it's your freedom